What's up, YouTube? It's PZZ as seen here. In this one, I'm going to be giving you guys a closer look at um, my new Zippo that I got a few days ago. Um, this one here is going to be the Fantest Zippo. You see right here in the back, it's called uh, Zippo the Fantest. If you want to see my uh, initial reactions type of video, um, then click on the annotation if I decide to put one on the screen. Um, yeah, I shot that video uh, with my iPod Touch at a bus stop. <laughs> so, it, I mean, it's pretty cool. I like the video. It's different, but uh, I told I, I mentioned in that video that I'd be showing you guys more up close uh, shot of the Zippo, and uh, that's what I'm doing. Now, the Zippo is actually really cool. Let me first of all reveal it. There it is, Zippo, the fan test. All right, now here's the Zippo design. As you can see, if we take it out of the box. You'll see that it is a satin chrome lighter. Alright. This is what it looks like open. There it is opened. Looks pretty sexy. If I do say so myself. Um, I got this for $24.95. It's an MSRP. I actually got it for a little bit of a discount. Um, so, But that's okay. Uh, it, it usually runs for $24.95 for most people. So there's that. Um, I should just keep the box in. And uh, as you can see, it is a satin chrome, if I haven't already mentioned that. Um, this particular lighter was made in I of 09, which is interesting, because I got this out of a display case uh, at the smoke shop, again, two days ago. This is currently 2012. So uh, this is like a, you know, a two and a half, a little over two and a half year old lighter. I thought that was kind of crazy. Um, this lighter in particular, let me just mention this real quickly, uh, is going to be sent back into Bradford be, uh, because um, it does have a cam issue. I did not notice this in my initial video, but I did mention this in a video after that. L watch the cam as I tip it. Watch. You see? You see that? Hang on. There you go. That was a good shot. Let me actually take the insert out and show you that again. Watch. Turn it this way. Watch the cam. There you go. It should not be able to do that. It kind of rattles. I don't know if you'll be able to hear that or not on camera. But this insert is rattling a little bit, a little rattly. Um, the insert, if you're wondering, was made in H of 09. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, but that is an H. Eh. Let me see if I can refocus. Alright, you can guys see a little better. H of 09. That's when this thing was made. You can see there that they that it says made in Zippo USA. Unlike some of the other lighters I've shown recently, which say Zippo made in USA. They changed that in 2011. Um, for some reason. I don't know why. They changed that last year. And so, yeah. Anyway. My original plan was to basically just stop the video here. Because you've got a very nice detailed look at it right now. But, no, this lighter is pretty cool. Um, I'm going to get a little bit more into it. Alright, because ever since, uh, like, I got it, I could not help but think that all they did for this design, like, I could not help but think that the design on the Zippo is, in fact, like a magazine advertisement. Like, you know, they took an ad out of an old magazine and just use that as the design. I mean, and I just could not help but think that. And, well, but right, literally right before I did this video, I uh, researched that a little bit on Google Images. And if you look up on Google Images, Zippo 1940s ad, um, you will find an ad that looks a lot like this. Alright? In fact, maybe I spliced it in, in, the, uh, in the, on the screen there. I'm not really sure. But yeah, this is in fact straight from an ad. In fact, it is an ad for Zippo. Um, as you can see, which is pretty dang cool. Now, there's a few things um, about this that are pretty interesting also. Um, first of all, let me read you the text here. So, here it is really up close. It, it's actually, so, it says, try the fan test. Hence, the, uh, the name of Zippo being, oops, I covered it up. Uh, the fan test, that's what it's called that. As you can see, so try the fan test. Alright, and with Zippo windproof lighter, this is about as close up as you might want to get with this. Lights pipe as easy as as easily as cigarette. Now, pause. Okay. 
Operates with one hand. Pause. 10 day fuel supply. <laughs> if you remember my last, uh, in my video where I, you know, showed this initially, I thought this whole thing was like one sentence. So that's why I was so confused, because if you read it like that, light, light's pipe is easily a cigarette, operates with one hand, 10 day fuel supply. Yeah. Um, I did not think that um, those were in fact separate sentences. I thought that was all one big sentence. Oh well. Now right below that it says lifetime guarantee. Uh, and this here also got me a little bit intrigued. It says monograms and inlay and enamel inlay if desired. And I was thinking that, wait a minute, is this like an inlay or something? Like, that's when I got all, all excited in that video because I was going to see if there's like an inlay on here. But no, it's in fact, again, just part of the ad. There's not an uh, enamel inlay in this. But let's take a closer look now at some of the stuff on here. Look at the Zippo in particular on the picture. First thing you'll notice if you look at it real closely is that it has these two lines there. Alright, much like this one. This here is my 1937 replica. Let me zoom out for you a little. So uh, that, that Zippo on that image looks like this one with those little lines. If you have it like this, if you still see that. Do you see the similarities there? Yep, so it's the same thing, basically. So this is in fact a 1937 to 1940-ish era advert that they stuck on as a design for the Zippo, which I think is pretty cool. Alright, this here is again a 1937 replica. Um, I have a video up on this if you want to see it. Just look up 1937 replica on my YouTube channel, um, which is pretty cool. So that's that. Now, if we take actually another look at this lighter, actually no. Let's, first of all, let, yeah, let's look at this lighter. All right. Now, what else do you notice that's interesting about it? Well, look at. I'll give you a hint. Look at the um, chimney. All right. Do you notice anything different about the chimney? All right, I'm going to show you this one's chimney, so get ready because it's going to fly away from you. Ready? Set. Look at this chimney. All right, see that chimney? All right, now look at this chimney. See? What are the difference? Do you see the difference? There is one. Is that one? There's that one. If you're really having a hard time look, if you're really having a hard time noticing it, I guess I'll have to show you. All right. Look at this one again. Now, look at the pattern of the holes. All right. Look at this hole pattern. If you're still not seeing the difference, then look right over here ish you'll see that right there is a hole missing all right now one could also argue <clears throat> one could also argue that you know there's a bunch of other holes missing like you know the one that goes there and the one that well you know the one that goes there and the one that goes there and the one that goes way back here but you know they actually I actually do think that they are there if you see kinda near where the uh, strike wheel is right you see these little notches I think those are the holes right there I'm not sure I'm not really sure but you will notice that this is in fact a 14 hole lighter although it might just be an 8 hole lighter I don't know but that's one thing that you'll notice. Now, if you'll also notice right here, this was intriguing me forever. I, was, I felt kind of stupid actually after I figured it out. Um, but look at the monogram. Look at the um, excuse me. Look at the uh, body of the zip. But look at the red, right? You know, look at that red part. And you'll see that it says GGB. All right. What does that mean? Take some time to think about it. Alright, just think about it. 
in the meantime, look at that fan. I'm actually going to try the fan test with a Zippo whenever I uh, get it fixed. I will definitely do that, although I need a fan too. I don't know where we put the fans when we moved. Alright, you still think about what GGB stands for? What could that stand for? Was it a company or something? Well, it took me forever to figure out what GGB stood for. But uh, then I was about to do a Google search for it, and then it suddenly popped in my head. GGB is actually George Blaisdell's initials. <laughs> uh, so, that is actually demonstrating the uh, enamel... Mo uh, the enamel monogram. If you remember back down here, monograms and enable inlay if desired. Well, that's to display that. George G. Blasdell. That's his initials, monogrammed in the Zippo. So, I felt kind of stupid after that, to be honest with you. Um, I literally just now figured that out. I was about to Google it, but then I ju it just popped in my head as I was about to type it that, wait. Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? So... Yeah, anyway, just a really neat looking Zippo. I really like it. I love how it's like an advertise how it's an advertisement that's stuck on the actual product. You know, it's an oldie advertisement that's stuck on the actual product. I think that looks awesome. So anyway, if you happen to see the Zippo in your local smoke shop or wherever, you should definitely pick it up. If not, then you can look on Amazon. Amazon will have it. Um Zippo's website doesn't have it. I can only assume they might have discontinued this design, so make sure you you might need to get it off of um, Amazon or eBay or such. But yeah, it's definitely a cool looking Zippo. Um, definitely one of my favorites. It'd be nice when I get it fixed. <laughs> then it probably will become my favorite. So we'll see. Anyway, that's about it for now. So, thank you guys for watching. And adios.